So we're here with Volvo EX30 and we've covered this vehicle quite a lot since its introduction and there are some really cool things about it. So first, Volvo's goal with it is to have an EV with a really minimal footprint and it accomplishes that with Volvo EX30. It's just over 4,200 millimeters long and 1,500 millimeters tall and 1,800 millimeters wide. Now, Volvo gives you quite a bit of flexibility with this. It offers two battery types and that would be a 51 kilowatt hour variant and a 69 kilowatt hour battery. The 51 kilowatt hour variant gives you a range of up to 214 miles in mixed driving so roughly about 380 kilometers and that can go all the way up to roughly 290 90 miles roughly 500 kilometers with the 69 kilowatt hour battery it's offered in single motor with roughly 200 horsepower and then there is a dual motor configuration that gives you up to 400 horsepower so quite a powerful vehicle for what it is and also one of the things that this thing will move pretty fast zero to 60 in the dual motor configuration in 3.8 seconds as far as charging Volvo EX30 can be charged from 10 to 80 percent in 27 minutes according to Volvo using DC fast charging Volvo has ticked a lot of boxes here and it's got quite a lot of character with it so it's got these Thor's hammer headlights which are pretty cool right here adds a lot of character to the vehicle and as you can see it has the closed off front to it as well with the simple Volvo logo but there is a camera up front right here and this camera serves very uh, various functions as it relates to uh, adaptive cruise control or even intelligent speed assist and then down here just a simple intake for the battery battery cooling one of the things that's very cool about it is it's riding on 20 inch wheels very sporty sort of setup for this ev so around the rear of the volvo ex30 as you can see with me standing next to it it's a fairly short vehicle at just over 1500 millimeters so it is quite low for what it is but again given that it is in compact SUV really meant for sort of urban environments and you know not carrying large family but more sort of single individuals small families running errands you don't need much bigger than this and then if we look inside you touch this button which will open the rear boot right here and what you have is fairly compact cargo space but the nice thing is that you have an underfloor here that gives you some space for some additional things including the EV charging cable but here in the back you could put a couple of small suitcases maybe one medium suitcase in it as well so yeah but again as a compact vehicle you don't need much more than this and we'll close this and look at some more about this Volvo EX30 so the EX30 has a they call front load compartment or what is commonly referred to as frunk it's quite small so uh, you could maybe store a couple of small flat items or the charging cables here uh, but really not much in terms of what it offers but a convenient item to have if some extra cargo space is needed inside ex30 first thing um, again being average height 175 centimeters plenty of leg room for taller drivers I'm pushing this back and there's a lot of leg room here and so that's very cool that a taller driver can get into a vehicle like this uh, nice button controls right here to control the seat I like this sort of joystick square function uh, very easy to adjust the seat and one of the really great things just first impressions you can see out of the front of this vehicle so well to really know where the car is Volvo did a really clever thing in that there's a slight rise on the right of the hood so you have a good sense of where the vehicle is when you're maneuvering it and then the steering wheel here is pretty cool it's, it's a, not a large steering wheel uh, you know it's a for me it feels like a little large um, 
you know, I, I can't really describe. It's kind of an odd sort of shaped steering wheel. Uh, not a fan, but not the worst thing. I think it's actually more tolerable as you push it closer. Uh, but closer to me, it feels like a truck steering wheel. Uh, so not not my favorite. The cool thing right here is there's a little information display. Uh, it looks like it has some infrared functions for sort of eye tracking to make sure you don't get drowsy at the wheel. And then the drive lever right here as well. I'd actually be a little bit worried about this. This looks like something that if you're not careful, you could, uh, you could snap this off quite easily. Uh, but it does also have kind of a jack feature where it does raise up the steering wheel. I would be very concerned about this uh, over the long-term, long-term ownership. We have these large cup holders right here. You've got uh, your rear window controls uh, placed right here as well. And then also this really kind of high mounted armrest. There is no storage in here, but that's made up for in this area right here. And it's actually got a stowaway area with two USB-C ports down there. And then there is a wireless charging pad right here. Uh, and uh, it's not exactly rubberized, but there is a little pocket that will keep your phone in place. And then there is a information display, bright, very clear display. It is Android Auto and you can get uh, various details about the car right here as well as apps and even controlling things like the ventilation of the seats and the steering wheel as well so that's pretty cool it's a probably about a 15 inch display uh, a little bit sort of narrow in terms of its aspect ratio but uh, not bad at all we now that was very cool i don't know uh, what the benefit of that is but there is a little pocket that can be controlled from the information display so you've got a lot of storage options in this vehicle here uh, another neat feature there is some personalization in here there's a uh, uh, lighting sort of mood lighting ambient lighting in here and that can be adjusted from the infotainment display so it's a nice little personalization effect in Volvo EX30 and it's using sustainable materials throughout again a vehicle that's really meant to be circular as well as something that's electrified obviously uh, Volvo's big push is for it to have an electrified lineup by 2030 and then one other feature it's got this Harman Kardon sound system a sound bar all across the front of the front console and that's pretty cool uh, we can't test out the sound system but I imagine uh, the sound stage for this uh, is quite nice uh, so very nice and again for what it is a compact EV SUV really what more could you ask for from a vehicle like this uh, you know very good interior space or some nice high quality touch you've got this metal door opener here I mean this is a really solid piece of hardware right here uh, I mean that's just a very high quality feel for a vehicle like this and there are uh, this sort of uh, sort of sustainable material right here the sort of speckled type of um, material that is being used for this door panel. But that's an example of the sustainability of the vehicle. And then this armrest also, a uh, nice chunky armrest. It is actually a fairly soft material um, and it is, again, some sort of sustainable material. It is not leather and it is not plastic, but com comfortable and a high quality feel. And then there's a door pocket in here as well. Uh, and you can store some things like books, for example. So that's a pretty nice feature of this vehicle. Inside the Volvo EX30, this is definitely for small passengers in the rear. I'm average height at 175 centimeters and it is a very tight fit back here. So this vehicle is really not intended to carry larger passengers, at least on extended trips. One of the other things too that we talk about quite frequently is there's not a lot of under leg support here. So under, so on a long trip, uh, it could be quite uncomfortable for a passenger uh, who is a bit taller or even average height. Now, the seat feels quite nice, but again, it is quite compact back here. And so again, you know, maybe for a, a short, sort of half day out uh, trip with, with some friends this will be okay but a long road trip definitely not now you've got these uh, nice seats right here um, they're quite comfortable quite plush it's sort of a vinyl material I'm sure Volvo is using some sort of sustainable material right here 
um, maybe in hot weather, the not the not the most comfortable. Uh, there could be some humidity. Uh, so if someone's wearing uh, shorts or something like that, maybe not the most comfortable. But this is the Volvo EX30. Now for small families, this would work well. But if you plan on carrying lots of passengers in this vehicle, maybe consider a, another choice. We've got um, some interesting things. We've got this really large storage bin right here, and it's actually removable. Uh, and there's a sort of rubberized pad uh, here as well for storage. Not quite sure what that's for. Um, but it seems like something that could kind of get annoying uh, in day-to-day -day use. There are two USB-C ports right here. A little hard to see, so maybe at night could be challenging. And then the windows can be controlled with these two buttons here. A nice little feature is that it does have a little pocket where a smartphone could be stored here. I don't know if this has wireless charging. I'm going to say that it likely does not because it is a smooth plastic finish and so a phone would really kind of move around in here. So I don't believe that is wireless charging. Then on the seats right here, we've got this sustainable material, uh, very comfortable, very nice and textured. For this vehicle, um, it might be something that shows dirt quite easily. I'm not sure how easy this is to clean, but I trust that Volvo has made a material that is easy to clean. You've got this amazing panoramic roof inside. It literally takes up the entire interior of the vehicle, which is very cool. So again, not being comfortable for a larger passenger, but uh, the panoramic moonroof might make it tolerable. And so this is what we have here. Again, a very fun, cool EV, but definitely not, as I said many times so far, not for larger passengers. And you've got this touch lighting right here uh, and so not sure how useful that is but I imagine uh, in a small interior like this it could be helpful when you're trying to find something like a charging port or if you just happen to drop something inside the vehicle so let us know what you think about this interior in the Volvo EX30 do have good support uh, for putting your feet under the seat, the passenger seat actually felt a little bit higher than the driver's seat does, uh, but you can get your feet under the footwells in this Volvo EX30. Now we've covered this vehicle before on cleanearth.io, but it's our first time getting up close with it. Now even though it is compact, it is meant for more urban environments and people who really want, again, sort of an affordable compact EV to cruise around in city environments or make daily runs, whether it be to the supermarket or your local retail store.